row of containers, big, big buckets, and tons of them, and there's stains all over, you know, where all of the lacquers have dripped, and um, anyway, it's a heavy experience in so far as if you're in there a few minutes, like when, when we go to visit Michael, and I'm in there, because I like to go, I bring everybody in, and we have our, you know, everybody gets to make some ornaments, and we have this workshop, and then everybody shops, and he does the whole demo, like you see here, except it's different there. He has a different kind of a, um, I, I guess it just must be a different formula, because he's got a great big, like a pasta pot, you know, really huge, filled with hot water, and so when he's doing the shaking and everything, he's dipping in and out of hot water, and that's what helps to cause the reaction there, but, um, Anyway, it's just, you can't breathe in there. You know, you start to get really dizzy very quickly. It's, maybe it helps you to buy more, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, so, you start with a silvered ornament, and what they typically do, they have a whole rack. I mean, it's like this, but you know, times five or six. There's hundreds of ornaments from the day before, and they're up high, they're hanging up on a rafter to drain and then they take them down and they just go, and it's a specific move that he does, which I don't want to get it all over, but they dip it into the can like this, and then they go, they bring it out like this, and then they start, and as it drips, because you know, if you don't turn it like this, then what happens is you're gonna get like a dot at the bottom, you know, where it's just gonna kind of collect and, and be a, a thick part, and then as it gets thinner and thinner, and most of it drips off, they go really fast like this. He can do them really quick. Not as fast as making those light bulbs, but he does them pretty quickly. And so all you do is you lacquer it like this, then you put it up, invert it over the nail like that to dry, and then the day after that, they'll take the ornament and well, first they'll, they'll paint them, you know, like so. There's another step, but we don't have a glass painter here. So they'll take these and, and all the Santas and that sort of thing, painstakingly painted. And I want to say this that when you go into one of the painter shops, because he took me on his little Friday afternoon delivery of the silvered ornaments to the, the painter's houses, and they have these tiny little painting areas. I mean, it's like smaller than your basic mud room or laundry room, okay? And there's no ventilation, and they're painting and painting, and I just wonder what is going on, because it's very, you know, it's, it's a real slow process, and there's no ventilation. And there's a couple of things I just want to tell you really quick about uh, some of the traditions in Laosha, which is nobody, rarely do you see any dealer. People who do flame working in America are very involved in, you know, annealing schedules to make sure that everything doesn't crack. But over there, they've got huge, complex vessels and things that animals that are thick and thin and large, and they don't anneal anything, and it never cracks. They understand the heat, they understand the glass, and it all works perfectly. The other thing I wanted to say is, so after the painting, then they do this. You know, sometimes you think, oh, it looks so arty and so high-end, and then they kind of put glitter on it. But it is very much in demand to put the glitter on it. Now, I will say two things. One, when they do glitter, their glitter does not look like our glitter. I, I asked Eric, I'm like, you got a, a coffee grinder you don't ever want to use again? Because their glitter is really, really fine, like grains of sand. And when they use the, uh, the glue, they have like a needle that comes out from here. So the glue is very, very thin and the glitter is very, very fine. So, you know, right now what we're gonna try to do is sort of like a bull in a china shop because we got big fat glue and big fat glitter. But it gives you the idea, uh -huh. which is just, you know, you take the glue and kind of just, it's really quite a lot of fun actually. But we can just put in dots and all sorts of things and little squiggles and so that's what they do. Sometimes, like I have one that Michael wrote my name on it and that was a lot of fun too. But it's just very basic, you know, glue and glitter, just like, you know when you're in kindergarten and you like to play on the construction paper with the glue and put the glitter, it's exactly the same thing, except that when you're done, then you, and they have these, 
huge amounts of glitter and kind of like, gosh, you know the disposable like turkey pans that you have at Thanksgiving? Well, that's kind of what they glitter over. They just do things like this in all different colors. And you can add a little bit more if you want. And so it's, it's just a very small, informal process. But that's, that's how it's done. And um, that's pretty much, pretty much it. And then the extra, of course, falls out. And then you tap it gently to dry like that. Put it up here, and that's that's how that works. And now, all right, stick this a little further up here, and uh, we want to show you guys the glass.